Hello guys, in today's video we are going to talk about custom validators in Angular. So stay with me and see you in a couple of seconds. Okay, here in front of me is a project that I created just for uh, this tutorial. So uh, you can download it from the GitHub and the link is in the comment in the description actually of this video. So when you download, uh, just run it and uh, you will see this uh, this uh, folder structure like here. So uh, we have a user form here that I created for this tutorial and the component as well. And also it is just being called here in the app component and that's it. So the form looks like this and this is just a simple register form that uh, we are going to, uh, to validate this uh, field actually in this tutorial. So. Let's start uh, with uh, this uh, form validation actually here. So uh, what do we have to do? Uh, first of all, uh, when I start validating forms, so we can see, we can go to the user form and we can see that we have some uh, validators already here. Uh, talking about the validators, actually, what is uh, what are the custom validators? So uh, we're having like uh, built-in validators from Angular that are just uh, validating min length uh, or is it required or text fields and, and so on. So you can find everything on the documentation. But uh, if we have some specific things to validate, for example, in our application, we want a phone number to be just like uh, some, uh, some, some type of uh, or some form of uh, phone number, then we have to add the custom validators for that. So uh, let's start with the with creating uh, the cu first custom uh, validator here. So uh, I'm gonna create uh, in the app folder, a new folder. I'm uh, all the time doing it like this. So I'll call it shared. And into that shared folder, I'll also add another folder with validators like this. And now in the validators, I'm gonna create a new validator here so it is just gonna be like phone validator in this case. So uh, phone phone validator that uh, validator that ts. I add it like this. And now uh, let's say that we uh, we are uh, calling this validator here in our phone uh, in in our phone uh, field here. But before that, we'll generate just uh, just a basic validator. So uh, let's say export function. It is going to be like phone name named phone validator. Phone validator, and it is going to receive a control that is type of abstract con abstract control abstract control and. Uh, this validator is going to return uh, validation errors or it is going to return null. And then we have to do uh, here something and to return uh, something. For now, null. But uh, we have to think about the logic for this one here. So. Uh, let's say that we want to add uh, we want to add uh, like phone validation using regular expressions that will select all digits and limit this uh, to be just 10 digits phone number. So this is just uh, the simple thing that we are going to uh, do here. But you're going to see the logic. Uh, how is this actually validator working? And then you can expand this example. So uh, going here to the browser and here uh, I have this website that I'm using regarding the uh, regular expressions. So it is uh, regexer.com. So there you can test uh, regular expressions and so on and so on. But uh, uh, right now, I'm just going to delete everything from here. And I'm going to add a new regex that is going to be like uh, get from start and get, uh, I'll just remove this. Okay. And get all digits. That should be 10, sorry, 10, and 
that's it match match the end so the in the tool you can see the explanation so it says that we are using begin beginning and matching everything from the beginning and we're using digit match any digit uh, character from zero to right and quantifier uh, we are telling it to match 10 uh, 10 uh, digits here and and match uh, match the end of the string the end of line in the multi-line flag name so uh, let's test this when i write something like this it is not matching but when we reach 10 digits it's gonna match it if we add more it's not gonna match it so this is something that we actually need to create our uh, regex uh, matcher for this validation here where we are gonna uh, match like 10 digits and to just to limit the 10 digits here so of course this is not like that example we can add another validation but this is just to, to check the uh, validator so let's see cast full reX and then we're gonna add uh, this so slash and this uh, character here and also backslash d and uh, add 10 and also add this and this in the end so this is going to match a uh, regex pattern here and it will not complain and now we just have to add this and now we have to check is this valid or not so uh, to be able to return uh, validation uh, or validation error we have we are able to uh, we first have to check does uh, is this uh, that we get from the control is it matching the something that we are expecting here so to do that we're going to add const valid equals phone regex and we're going to uh, test that and from now uh, we have to get from the control as uh, this is going to be run in the form uh, builder group here and it is uh, just getting like uh, uh, let me call this phone validator here okay phone and uh, validator yes it is and then uh, this validator is going to get uh, control from this form so from this uh, from, from this uh, single uh, control I hope you get you get the, what I want to say here. So uh, we are getting the single control item here, and then we are testing it. So control dot value. It means that we are getting just the value from the input field here, and testing is it matching that uh, it has like ten digits or not. So this is a test, and now we're just returning if this uh, is valid. So if it is valid, we're going to return null. So there is no like uh, errors in this validator. So it is not gonna uh, add any errors to the page. But if it's not valid, then uh, we're gonna add uh, something different here. So we're returning an object here, invalid form, and uh, it is Boolean. We are just going to say true. So uh, anything that you want to uh, uh, return here is going to be like this uh, in this in this uh, 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 like this example. So you can add the invalid form, the invalid something, uh, whatever you want, uh, any any kind of the object keys, and you just have to return it true. Because in the next section, when uh, we are validating this field, actually, uh, we'll see the error here so uh, when we open here the form that i created here so uh, we are going to go to the uh, phone number here let's find the phone number email phone here so uh, we can see that uh, we have added the if case here so it says if uh, user form gets phone is invalid or user form get phone is touched then we are going to check uh, here if user form get phone actually has errors that is actually 
uh, the object that we uh, filled from the validators. So we pushed the, the uh, to this uh, form control, we pushed this object here. So that means that it has errors. So we are getting the errors and getting the object key uh, called invalid phone because we added this invalid phone here. And after that, uh, if this is true, if we have errors with this invalid phone, then we're going to uh, show this invalid phone number must be 10 digits. So uh, we have added everything here and now we're going back to the uh, to our uh, form and then we're going to add this first we are going to touch this field and go back and it says invalid phone uh, must be 10 digits after i add 10 digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we can see that the this uh, error has uh, disappeared so if we add more this is going to uh, show the uh, message again if we remove it we get it or if you add less so uh this is regarding this uh, regarding this uh, error message here and this custom validator for for uh, sorry uh for uh checking the phones and uh, and this uh, uh custom validator so uh in the next videos i'm gonna add more custom validators uh to this uh, folder here and also I'm going to add uh, them uh, to this uh, uh, project on GitHub, so you will be able to download them uh, as well in the future. So uh, if you like the video or uh, the content, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, don't miss the next updates regarding the custom validators here, because I'm going to cover uh, uh, debit card validators and so on and so on. And uh, thank you for watching and this is it for this video.